You know the drill. Every time we talk about all elite wrestling, AEW, I'm not necessarily hating it because I continue to watch it. It continues to be entertaining. They still have some of the best professional wrestling on this planet. It's just... When it comes to sports entertainment, when it comes to storytelling, they could do so much better. Last week, we saw the debut of the Destroyer himself, Bobby Lashley, for AEW. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a massive get for Tony Khan. This is a massive get for AEW because Lashley has proven to be a top player. Yes, for WWE, even more for TNA Wrestling back in 2016, 2017, 2015, all of those years. And he can do the same for AEW going forward if storytelling hits the right way. Which again, for the most part, AEW doesn't have a, a good track record with. First mistake in bringing Bobby Lashley into the fold. And this is not just him targeting Swerve Strickland, because I get it, this is a very Paul Heyman-esque move, just like they did by giving Takeshita the international championship and having Kyle Fletcher try to start a rivalry or starting a rivalry with Will Ospreay. You're building the card, you're building up the matches that people care about for the pay-per-views. I get that. And it's and it's effective. But it could be a whole lot more effective, and the same applies here. Because you sac because AEW sacrificed. They sacrificed Swerve Strickland. His world championship reign, his aura, his character, all his momentum. They sacrificed it at all in in London by giving Brian Danielson a win that he did not need. Brian Danielson did not need to become world champion, and the proof is in the pudding because John Moxley is now your world champion. Top heel, John Moxley, with the BCC behind him. And where is the American Dragon? Nowhere, absolutely nowhere to be found. So again, a miss by AEW. And again, I get it. I'm going to be very invested in Swerve Strickland versus Bobby Lashley. I'm going to be very invested in Swerve Strickland versus the Hurt Syndicate. I'm going to follow that feud. I'm going to follow that rivalry like nobody's business because it will be pure entertainment. But AEW dropped the ball at all in and it is affecting the card right now. Because nobody gives a damn about the AEW, AEW World Championship feud. Because it's just a transitional feud. It's just a past the time feud. Nobody believes in their right mind that Orange Cassidy is going to dethrone John Moxley for the world's heavyweight championship. It's a match that nobody wants to see for the world's heavyweight championship because they haven't properly built up Orange Cassidy to face off against this brand new threat in Moxley and the BCC. Much like when they had Jack Perry challenge the American Dragon for the World Championship. Nobody wanted to see that. Nobody believed that Jack Perry had a single chance of beating the American Dragon for the World Title. And yet it still happened. And now, people are going to pay more attention to Will Ospreay versus Kyle Fletcher. They're going to pay more attention to Bobby Lashley versus Swerve Strickland. Hell, they might even pay more attention to Private Party defending the tag team titles against whoever, who knows who, for the tag team titles than they are for the World Championship. Because AEW has done a terrible job of building top contenders for the World Title when they could have fixed it like that. Swerve had momentum going into All In. Swerve could have retired the American Dragon Brian Danielson, retained his world championship, successfully defended his world championship against Hangman Adam Page at All In or All Out in Chicago. And then guess what? Moxley makes his return 
with a very badass heel BCC trying to avenge the American Dragon. And Moxley is successful and becomes a world champion. And Swerve, he's already lost his previous stable. And now he's facing off against Castagnoli. He's facing off against Wheeler Yuta. He's facing off against Marina Shafir. It's too much for, for, for Swerve to handle. Prince Nana makes a phone call. Out comes MVP. Out comes Shelton Benjamin. Out comes Bobby Lashley. And we get ourselves a war. The Hurt Syndicate versus the BCC for the World Championship that leads us into next year. And it doesn't, you don't have to have Swerve Strickland get the World Championship back, although that's what I would have done. I would have had Swerve eventually win the title back, keep building up his name, keep building up, keep building him up as a top babyface in AEW, which currently AEW does not have. And then eventually, Bobby Lashley turns on Swerve Strickland. The Hurt Syndicate turns on Swerve Strickland around WrestleMania time. That way they compete with the storylines that WWE has at that time. And we get ourselves more and more interesting feuds for the World Championship, which should be at the top of the card, at the top of the interest of the average AEW fan. But we don't get that. We don't get that. Because we do everything for shock value. We do everything on a reactionary basis on a weekly basis ricochet debuted a few months ago and now bobby lashley has taken the, his spotlight and nobody cares about ricochet and why would you he moved from the mid card of wwe to a mid card in AEW. doesn't really matter again i'm gonna keep watching because i'm a wrestling fan first and it's gonna be damn well entertaining and just like tna in 2014 just like wcw in 2000 2001 anything is better than nothing. But they could have done so much better with Lashley's debut and properly build him up to be a world championship contender. Hell, I wouldn't have even been, been mad if you had Lashley make his debut as the top star that he is and go up against John Moxley. Because people want to cheer for Bobby Lashley. People want to cheer and support a brand new guy walking through that stage. But they can't. Because AEW doesn't function properly when it comes to telling stories. So there's my rant about all this thing. Again, I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to keep supporting. I think it has tremendous potential. It's just unfortunate that the world championship scene and the main event scene in AEW has to suffer because of, because of very poor decisions being made creative-wise. With that said, what are your thoughts on Bobby Lashley making his debut for AEW? Finally making his his, a, his AEW debut. Did you expect something different? Are you excited about Swerve versus Lashley in the very near future? Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions in the comments section below. My name is Alex Carrillo. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.